Chapter 1, Understanding Home Insurance Home insurance provides financial protection to homeowners in the event of damage or loss to their property. It is a type of insurance policy that covers the structure of the home, as well as personal belongings that may be damaged or lost. Homeowners can choose from a variety of coverage options, each with different premiums and levels of protection. The coverage options for home insurance include dwelling coverage, which protects the physical structure of the home, such as the walls, roof, and foundation. It also covers any attached structures, such as a garage or porch. Personal property coverage protects the homeowner's belongings, such as furniture, appliances, and electronics. Liability coverage protects the homeowner from legal liability in the event of injury or property damage caused by the homeowner or their family members. Additional living expenses coverage covers the cost of living elsewhere if the home becomes uninhabitable due to damage or loss. The cost of home insurance premiums varies depending on a variety of factors. Location is one major factor, as homes in areas prone to natural disasters or crime may have higher premiums. The age of the home and its construction type can also affect premiums, as older homes or those made of combustible materials may be considered higher risk. Additionally, the homeowner's credit score and chosen deductible amount can impact the cost of premiums. When choosing a home insurance policy, it is important to consider the coverage needs for the specific home. A more expensive policy with higher coverage limits may be necessary for homes with valuable personal belongings or expensive construction materials. On the other hand, a more basic policy may suffice for homes with less valuable belongings or simpler construction materials. The homeowner's budget is another consideration, as higher coverage limits and lower deductibles will typically result in higher premiums. The reputation and financial stability of the insurance company is also important to consider when choosing a home insurance policy. The homeowner should research the company's customer service track record and financial ratings to ensure that they are reliable and can sufficiently provide financial protection in the event of a claim. In the unfortunate event that damage or loss occurs to the home, the homeowner must file a home insurance claim. This involves documenting the damage or loss, contacting the insurance company, and following their instructions for submitting a claim. It is important to have a clear understanding of the coverage limits and deductibles before filing a claim and to cooperate fully with the insurance company throughout the claims process. Overall, home insurance provides crucial financial protection to homeowners and their property. By choosing the right coverage options and insurance company, homeowners can rest assured that they will be financially protected in the event of any unforeseen circumstances. Question, what is home insurance? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Types of Home Insurance Coverage As Julia sat at her kitchen table, staring at the stack of papers in front of her, she couldn't help but feel overwhelmed. She had known that choosing a home insurance policy would be a daunting task, but she had no idea just how complicated it would be. She took a deep breath and began to sort through the stack. The first document was a brochure from the insurance company, outlining the different types of coverage available. The four main types of coverage were dwelling coverage, personal property coverage, liability coverage, and additional living expenses coverage. Dwelling coverage, Julia Reed, was the most basic type of coverage, and it protected the physical structure of the home. This would include the roof, walls, floors, and foundation, as well as any built-in components like fixtures, cabinets, or built-in appliances. She remembered the insurance agent telling her that she would need to specify the value of her home and property so that the insurance company could determine the appropriate coverage limit for her policy. Next was personal property coverage, which protected the belongings inside the home. 
furniture, clothing, electronics, appliances, and other personal items were covered against damage or loss caused by events like theft, fire, or storms. This type of coverage was important to Julia, as she had a lot of expensive electronics and a valuable jewelry collection. Liability coverage, Julia continued reading, protected homeowners from legal and financial obligations if someone was injured on their property. This type of coverage could also be used to cover damage caused by pets or family members, like if a child accidentally threw a ball through a neighbor's window. Julia knew that she would need to think carefully about the amount of liability coverage she wanted and how much her insurance policy should pay out in these situations. Finally, there was additional living expenses coverage, which Julia realized was probably the most important type of coverage for her family. In the event that her home became unlivable due to damage from a fire, storm, or other event, this type of coverage would help pay for food, lodging, and other expenses while her family found a temporary place to stay. Julia hoped that nothing like this would ever happen, but she felt reassured knowing that her family would be taken care of if it did. As Julia finished reading through the brochure, she realized just how complicated choosing the right insurance policy could be. Each type of coverage had its own variables and limits, and she would need to determine how much coverage she wanted in order to ensure that her family would be fully protected. Taking a deep breath, she began to fill out the insurance application, carefully considering each item and coverage option. She knew that the process would take time, but she was determined to find the right policy for her family's needs. As she finished filling out the application and submitted it to the insurance company, Julia felt a sense of relief and accomplishment wash over her. She knew that she had made the right choice in investing in a home insurance policy, and she felt reassured knowing that her family and their belongings were protected. Question, what are the different types of home insurance coverage? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Factors Affecting Home Insurance Premiums As Julia waited for the insurance company to respond to her application, she couldn't help but wonder what the premium for her policy would be. She knew that there were several factors that could affect the cost of her home insurance, and she had considered each one carefully before submitting her application. The first factor she had considered was the location of her home. Julia knew that certain areas were more prone to natural disasters like floods, earthquakes, or hurricanes, and were therefore considered higher risk. She had chosen a home in a safe and stable neighborhood, which she hoped would help keep her insurance premiums low. The age and construction type of her home were the next factors Julia had considered. She knew that older homes may have outdated electrical or plumbing systems, which could increase the risk of fire or water damage. She also knew that homes made of brick or concrete were generally more resistant to damage than homes made of wood. Fortunately, her home was relatively new and made of sturdy materials which worked in her favor. Another important factor affecting home insurance premiums is the homeowner's credit score. Insurance companies generally believe that individuals with higher credit scores are more responsible and less likely to file claims and therefore offer them lower premiums. Fortunately, Julia had a strong credit score, which she hoped would help lower her insurance costs. Finally, the deductible was another factor that Julia had considered. The deductible is the amount that the homeowner must pay out of pocket before the insurance company will cover the remaining costs of a claim. Julia knew that higher deductibles could lower her premiums, but also meant that she would be responsible for a higher out-of-pocket cost in the event of a claim. She chose a deductible that she felt comfortable with, balancing the cost of her premiums with the potential cost of a future claim. As Julia waited for a response from the insurance company, she couldn't help but feel nervous about the final cost of her home insurance policy. She had done her best to choose a policy 
at balanced coverage with cost effectiveness, and she hoped that the insurance company would take her efforts into consideration. Finally, after a few days, Julia received a response from the insurance company. She eagerly opened the envelope and scanned the contents, relieved to see that her home insurance policy had been approved. She quickly scanned the document, searching for the premium cost. To her relief, the premium was within her budget, and she felt reassured knowing that her family and their home were fully protected. She knew that she had made the right choice in investing in a home insurance policy, and felt a sense of relief knowing that she had taken steps to protect her family's financial stability. As Julia settled into her new home, she knew that the peace of mind that came with having home insurance was worth every penny. She felt confident that she had made smart choices in the application process and felt reassured knowing that she had taken steps to protect her home and family from unexpected disasters or accidents. Question What factors affect home insurance premiums? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4 How to Choose the Right Home Insurance Policy Julie had recently purchased her first home, and she was excited about starting a new chapter in her life. However, one thing that worried her was the possibility of something happening to her home and not having adequate coverage to protect her investment. She knew she needed to find a good home insurance policy, but she had no idea where to start. The first thing Julie did was think about her coverage needs. She wanted a policy that would cover the cost of rebuilding her home in case of a disaster, as well as covering any repairs needed due to unexpected damages. Julie also wanted a policy that would cover the cost of replacing her personal belongings in case of theft or damage. She made a list of her coverage needs to help her find the right policy. After making a list of her coverage needs, Julie then thought about her budget. She wanted to find a policy that fit within her budget without sacrificing coverage. She also wanted to make sure she could afford the deductible if she had to file a claim. Julie took her time to research various policies and insurance companies to find the right one. The next step for Julie was to research insurance companies that offered home insurance and their reputations. She wanted to work with an insurance company that had a good reputation for customer service and financial stability. Julie read reviews from other customers and researched each company to make an informed decision. Julie finally found an insurance company that met her needs, had a good reputation, and fit within her budget. She applied for a policy and submitted all the necessary paperwork. She was nervous about how long it would take to get approved and how much her premium would be. After a few days, Julie received an email from the insurance company. She nervously opened the email and saw that she was approved for the policy. She quickly scanned the document, searching for the premium cost. To her relief, the premium was affordable and fit within her budget. Julie was happy that she had found the right home insurance policy. Julie went to bed that night feeling relieved and more secure knowing that she had coverage for her new home. She was proud that she had done her research and made the right choice. Having a home insurance policy gave Julie peace of mind knowing that her investment was protected. In the end, finding the right home insurance policy takes time, patience, and research. It is important to think about your coverage needs, budget, and the reputation of insurance companies before making the decision. Julie felt confident that she had made the right choice and knew that she was covered in case of an emergency. She was excited to start the next chapter in her life, knowing that she had taken steps to protect her new home. Question, what should you consider when choosing a home insurance policy? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Filing a Home Insurance Claim Julie had always hoped that she would never have to file a claim on her home insurance policy. 
However, one day, her worst nightmare came true when a severe storm caused damage to her home. After ensuring that her family was safe, Julie began the process of filing a claim with her insurance company. The first step in filing a home insurance claim is to document the damage. Julie took pictures and videos of the damage and made a detailed list of the items that were affected. She knew that it was essential to document everything accurately to help the insurance company process her claim more efficiently. Next, Julie contacted her insurance company to notify them of the damage and to begin the claim filing process. The representative on the phone was sympathetic and helpful and walked her through the necessary steps to submit a claim. Julie was pleasantly surprised at how smooth the process was. Once Julie had submitted her claim, the insurance company sent out an adjuster to evaluate the damage. The adjuster was polite and professional and went through the home thoroughly, taking notes and pictures and answering any questions that Julie had. Julie was relieved to have the adjuster's expertise in the situation, and her insurance company was responding promptly. After the adjuster finished the evaluation, Julie's insurance company quickly processed her claim and informed her of the amount that would be covered by her policy. Julie was relieved that the insurance company had been so helpful in the process, and she received the funds she needed to make the necessary repairs to her home. The entire experience was surprisingly less stressful than Julie had expected. She knew that without her home insurance policy, she would be paying for the damages out of her pocket. Julie's decision to invest in a home insurance policy had paid off, and she was incredibly thankful for her insurance company's support during this challenging time. Filing a home insurance claim can be a daunting process, but Julie had found that if you have the right insurance company, it can be straightforward and stress-free. Her insurance company had been responsive and helpful throughout the entire process, making it easy for her to submit her claim and receive the necessary funds to repair her home. Julie had learned that filing a claim could be a smooth process if you are well prepared and choose the right insurance company. The key to making the process less stressful is to have the right documentation ready and to work with an insurance company that has excellent customer service. Julie was proud that she had chosen such an insurance company. In conclusion, Julie had learned the importance of having a home insurance policy. The policy had provided her with the protection she needed to feel secure and protected. When the unexpected happened, Julie's insurance company had been there to support her and to get her back on track. Julie was grateful that she had made the right choice when it came to home insurance and would recommend it to others who are looking to protect their homes and families. Question, what should you do when filing a home insurance claim? Check the video.